Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create an online survey to check how my team members feel about working in their new firm. Considering that I am a new blogger and a software developer, I want to make sure that the new members who have joined my membership plan get every access smoothly. Hence, I want to take a quick survey to see what the new members have to say about their onboard experience in my online portal. In this video, I have created a dummy WordPress website using InstaWP. This is the finest platform to create a disposable WordPress website and test your ideas and tools for free. Here, you can build a quick and disposable WordPress website in no time by just clicking a button. I have already installed the QSM plugin on the website. To learn how to install and configure QSM plugin in your website, click in the information card in the top right corner of this video. Let's start by creating a survey form. Number one is to hover over QSM, then click on Quizzes or Surveys. Once you click on Create New Quizzes or Surveys or Add New button, we'll see a collection of themes for the survey. QSM is a collection of stunning new themes, but I don't require a theme for this survey, so let's go with the default theme and click on Next. Now, on the Quiz setting page, we get an option for the initial setup of our form. I'm setting a name for the form and selecting what kind of form we are using. You can even set up a time limit on your survey if required and you could select if you wish to show your survey only to the logged in users. In my case, I don't need those, so I'm just skipping those and clicking on next. Now comes the add-on page where we get to see the popular add-ons of QSM. You could select any add-ons as per your requirements to add more features to your forms quizzes, or surveys. Currently, I don't need any feature add-on, so let's click on Create New Quiz. We have reached the Questions tab, where we can enter our questions for our customers. Let's enter some questions for the new members. Let's start with the first one, to ask our new members what they feel about this new membership. After entering the question, let's choose a type of question on the right-hand side. There are about 15 question types which we could select based on our question's nature. I am selecting the drop-down question type here so that the user can select an option from the drop-down. Let's add some options for the drop-down. You could mark the question as required so that the user can skip this question. Click on Save Question to save the question. Our first question is saved. Click on Create a New Question at the bottom of the Questions tab or click on the duplicate button at the top of the questions page to duplicate the same type of question. In the second question, I want to check how did they hear about the membership. This data would help me to plan my marketing strategies. Once you've filled in the question and the options for it, click on the save question. Moving on to the next question. Here, I want to spot any issues which the members might have had, due to which, they had to contact my customer support team. I want this to be a horizontal multiple choice type question, so that our users can choose a suitable answer. Once you filled in the question and the options for it, click on Save Question. Now on to the next question. I want to see what unique thing a user might have found in my membership program so that I could work on improving it in the future. I'm selecting the paragraph type question so that the users could help me with detailed information about their thoughts on the membership. Moving on to the last question, here I want to see which platform is most preferable for my member to get future communication so that it would be easy for me to automate the same platform. I'm selecting multiple choice type questions here and let's add some options for the users to select. All right. All the questions are saved. I want to see who's responding so that I could understand better and avoid any errors in my data. For that, I am setting up a contact field to collect the details of the applicants. Click on Add New Field, select the field type as a small open answer, and label it as Full Name. Select the Use For section and select Name there. Let's add another contact field to take email address. Select the field type as email and label it as email. Select the use for section and select email there. Let's add one more contact field to take the phone number. 
Select the field type as a small open answer and label it as contact number. Select the use for section and select phone there. Once you're happy with the set contact forms, click on the save contact field. Let's do a quick preview of our survey by clicking on the preview icon at the top right corner of the page. We have successfully created the new member survey and it works just right. That's all for this video. Let us know in the comments below how are you planning to use the QSM plugin. Until next time, stay safe, bye bye.